All right, I thought I'd throw this uh, little video together to save some of you, hopefully, uh, some time because I went through a whole bunch of research to try to figure out how to do something. Uh, I'm a pastor of a church and uh, we were doing a uh, winter teen retreat that we were going to be doing the music at. Um, and so we were going there and I wanted to set up a uh, backdrop uh, using three different rear projected screens. Um, but researching them online, they were exorbitantly expensive and so that wasn't going to work. I couldn't afford that. The only budget I had was my wife and I's pocketbook. That was it. Um, so that wasn't going to work to try to buy them. So I started looking to do it yourself or options online and uh, reading and researching on that was just an absolute pain. A lot of the stuff just looked like junk. Um, didn't look like it worked very well or it was beyond my building skills to try to put together. Um, so I had to figure out how to do something on the cheap. Um, uh, what I discovered uh, after much research and much frustration is how to build one and how to build one very, very cheap. Um, the total cost of the screen that I built, and this was a 16 by 9 uh, format, um, so the one I built was uh, 9 feet wide by uh, 5 foot 9 inches, I think is the way it worked out, but it was 9 feet wide and I needed three of these, so that's 27 feet long of screen between the three screens that I did. But just one of those, 9 feet wide, uh, came out to uh, about 20 bucks total and so if you use a smaller screen that you're looking for it can be as low as you know 10 15 dollars depending on the size of the the screen that you get um was there still quality though in what i did absolutely there was quality i will actually show you a video clip from our church service um we came home from this teen retreat and uh presented some of what we were doing to our church family and uh, i got so much feedback I, like i got in trouble a little bit uh, by our church family because they thought i went out and spent a bunch of money i got a ton of questions asking me about uh you know did we rent these screens or how much money did we spend on them you know thinking i'm spending church money on it that's how impressed they were uh, by them so i'll show you some video clips in, in a little bit and uh, you'll you'll i'll also show show you a clip of me the following Sunday trying to shut the rumor down and you'll hear them clapping and stuff in that. It's kind of funny, but it just shows you they were totally fooled by these screens. Um, the videos that you'll see of the screens uh, in use and some of the pictures, uh, just just have to warn you there. First of all, we were there to do music stuff, um, not to shoot video. And so the video itself didn't turn out very well. And if you know anything about shooting video in the dark and taking pictures in the dark, it's kind of tough to do. It doesn't turn out very well. And just in the way things are captured, you'll see like even some waves uh, in the screens and that just looks like horrible, like the screens look like junk. Um, that is not the truth at all. That's just the way the video stuff captures it. Um, so you'll hear in the church video that I show later, uh, our church people's reaction. Now they were absolutely blown away by these screens. So uh, don't be fooled by the way the video captured some of this. Um, I, I, they're, they're really very impressive uh, screens and totally fooled our entire church as to uh, as to the quality they thought they were purchased or, uh, or rented so good good quality so how did i do it um what i did believe it or not was use shower curtains i made the entire screen out of shower curtains and black duct tape that's that's all i used um, if you look up and I'll, I'll put the information some links and stuff to the exact curtains that i bought and that i used if you want to use the exact ones i did um, but i tested a bunch of different shower curtains from walmart target anywhere from seven dollars to like ten dollars and all of them i used the this says uh frost or frosted shower curtain so it's not completely clear if it's completely clear the light just passes right through and it doesn't catch to be able to project an image on it uh, if you use white though that's too thick and it captures too much light and it stops it and you don't have a very good image the frost ones I found to work extremely, extremely well uh, for the rear projected. Obviously for front projection it doesn't work. I was using for rear projection. So it worked very, very well as you'll see in some of the video clip stuff. So you find one that's frost, has frost on it or frosted and whatever dimensions you need, whatever size curtain you need. And then all I did was I took uh, duct tape and uh, if you look at it this way, I took, I took duct tape and I put it, I put the entire, um, curtain on a table and I taped it down to the table here and then I taped it down here and I kind of I didn't stretch it out because you don't want to stretch the curtain otherwise when you get done taping it it'll kind of pull back and wrinkle up the tape you don't want to do that so I just taped it to the table here and then pulled it taunt here and then it so that it's stuck to the table like that and then I just put duct tape all along this line then I pulled it up this side duct tape to the table here and to here pulling it just just taunt 
and then put duct tape across there. And I just did that on all the different sides um, so that I had a nice black border. And then I took, I think it was like $4 or something, a, a kit, a grommet kit that did a whole bunch of different screens. Um, so I took that grommet kit and I put grommets across the top and used that to thread it along the uh, pole that I had to use as my supports. And, uh, and then grommets at the bottom to be able to pull them apart and you'll see some of that in the videos. That was it. Uh, very, very easy. Very, very simple to do. I think for the largest screen, because um, I, I ordered mine offline to be able to get really, really big ones. Um, so those were probably 20 to $25 uh, with all the shipping and all that kind of stuff uh, per screen because I did three of them. So shipping weighs out in the long run and I have Amazon Prime and so whatever. But probably for you, 20 to $30 for a screen that large. If you do something small where you don't have to order online, you just get the shower curtain at Home Depot, uh, you're looking at 15, 20 bucks. Um, very, very economical, very, very easy to do. Um, so I will show you some of these uh, videos and some of the clips. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me through YouTube's uh, email system that they have. If you comment under the video, I will try my best to get back to you. I'm very, very busy. Um, but hopefully this video will be self-explanatory and you'll be able to see uh, what's there and hopefully this will save you uh, a little bit of time over the mess that I had to go through. Thanks, enjoy the video. a rumor. Um, last week um, we had a bunch of screens uh, up here and I had just tons of people asking me um, like where do we get these screens and like did we buy these screens you know like are they ours or did we rent them somewhere and the question I really heard from not from all of you in that but the question I was hearing from some of you was how much money did you spend Pastor Mark um, on these screens right I mean how much money how much of the church's money did you spend on the screens? well number one I didn't spend any church's money on the screens okay all the staging stuff you saw up here Heather and I bought so relax okay it didn't come out of church funds Number two, um, if you're wondering, because you know these are sharp-looking screens, where we rent these and all this kind of stuff, um, I just just want to just squash a rumor here, okay? Um, and Larry Bernardo can back this up, because he actually came in when I was building these, okay? Well, I researched the death out of them because if you look up these screens, they are expensive to buy. So I researched the death out of them, tried to figure out a cheap way to, to to make them or something. And what I came up with, what you saw last week and thought was professional, that <laughs> I made out of shower curtains and duct tape. Yes. 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 Yes.